Searching on Google is the easiest thing for any person. I like to do that. So right now I'm giving you uh, some tips and tricks that you can do inside Google. So when you're searching on Google, you can use it more efficiently with some tips that I'm going to give you. Please follow the whole video and you will get the idea. So this time I'm going to search about Michael Jackson on the Google. So I type in Michael Jackson, but when I go to Google for a particular song called Thriller in this example, I get too many results and I don't want that. I don't want that much results. So what to do is you just put two quotes in that Google search key and it will reduce the results. And another thing is you will get the results you needed. So in this guide, I am searching for some Android Marshmallow features. So I'm getting a lot of results for Android Marshmallow, but I definitely want some specific details from a specific site. So I use site key phrase, site colon cnet.com. So I'm getting the whole results from CNET regarding the Marshmallow features. That's how you use the site keyframe. In this guide, I'm using Google to know about robotics. But here it gives me a lot of results including the books that I can buy. But I don't want that much results. So what I can do is, I can add a keyframe called define semicolon and the keyword that I want to know about. Then the Google will give me a lot of results regarding that keyword here which is robotics. So there is no paid links, there is no purchase, just the definition. Summing up uh, some max is easy with Google. So here now I am doing the multiplication of some digits 6 star 7 star 56 star 67. The result will be 157584. So it's very easy for the method. You use star instead of into icons. And also there is uh, this currency conversion. You convert $67 to British Pound and you get 47.97 British Pound. And the same can be applicable to Indian Rupees also. So 67 US dollars equals 4535.56 Indian Rupee. You can also find out the weather in different cities. So type in weather space Mumbai and you'll get the Mumbai weather inside Google. And you take out Mumbai and add Chennai and you get the weather in Chennai. And you take out Chennai, you add London and you get the weather in London. It's very cold out there. And like Trivandrum in Kerala. It's 32. It's very hot out there. So that's the thing. So if you're planning to come to Delhi, you might need some restaurants to eat food. So I'm searching for Delhi restaurants. I get a lot of restaurants in the complete Delhi. Some restaurants are not needed for me in this particular time. So what I did, what I need to do is I have to add the pin code with Delhi restaurant keyword. It will give me uh, some specific uh, results connected to that pin code and it will be easy for me to find out those restaurants when I arrive in that particular area. So if you're planning to see or watch some movies, 
Google can help you. You just search with movie timings, then your keyword Mumbai, and you get whole details of the movie timings. Then you take out Mumbai, you add Kolkata, and you get also the details. And then you try the next place, Chennai, and you will get the results. That's how you get movie timings out of Google, which is so correct. And movie timings for Delhi also. Another super feature is you search for a website on Google, for example, Facebook.com. You see the whole results about Facebook, but you want to know who the websites connecting to Facebook, like which are the websites that Google think are connecting to Facebook. You add link, semicolon, uh, and you get the results. But uh, I don't know. I am. I'm. Kind of freak uh, with the results shown here because there is no renowned uh, website that are connected to Facebook. And the next thing, it's again I'm using the example of Facebook. So you all know about Facebook, Facebook.com. It's a social service website. So you want to know what other websites are related to Facebook or similar to Facebook just use a related colon keyword and Google will tell you on the other website which are similar to Facebook so there are LinkedIn, Foursquare, Twitter, Flickr, MySpace and there and there is only 8 results Google thinks there is only 8 websites similar to Facebook Another thing I want to do is comparing my food items that I eat. I need to get my nutritional values of the food I eat, but most of the times in Google it's not possible. So when I use honey and egg, I usually get you know the whole details under that simple search. But I want things to be specific, so I just use the keyword compare. Compare milk and egg and Google gives me a whole lot of new kind of search. I can take different kinds of fat, uh, milk and different kinds of boiled eggs and its quantity, its weight and, it, and Google gives me the exact uh, results. So I change the quantity and type, I get the calories. Egg raw and one medium and I get 63 calories out of that so that's how you get the exact comparison between two food items so good so great and thank you for everyone to seeing this uh, footage and I'm really happy God bless you thank you